Welcome to step 5 of making a top-down adventure game in Pico 8. In this step we'll add keys our player can collect. If you just started Pico 8, you'll need to load your game. Once it's loaded, hit escape and we'll get started. The first thing we need to do is make sprites, so let's go to the sprite editor. For each kind of key, we actually need two sprites to use as map tiles. If we have a map tile to show a key, then we also need a map tile to replace it once the player picks up the key. So let's make two tiles right next to each other. The first tile is the map tile with the key, and the second is the map tile without the key. Remember, the sprite flag for keys is sprite flag 1, so the tile with the key should have that flag turned on, but the tile without the key should have that flag turned off. Let's also make another kind of, quote, key, but let's make it a chest. To our code, it's still a key, because even though it doesn't look like a key, it will still give the player a key. Kind of like how rocks and water aren't actually walls, but they still stop the player. The two tiles will be one with the chest closed and one with the chest open. But we don't want the player running over the chest, it should block them like a wall. So for those two tiles, we also are going to turn on sprite flag 0, which if you remember, marks that tile as a wall. This means the player can walk up to it and get the key, but they can't walk through it. Once we've made these tiles, let's add them to our map. Now let's write the code to make this work. First we need a sound effect for picking up a key. I need to go to sound effect number 1 since we already have a sound effect at number 0. I'm going to make a classic coin sound here, but you can make whatever sound effect you like. Remember how we have two tiles, one with the key and one without the key? Well we need a function that will swap map tiles on our map. Go to code tab 1 with our map code and let's add a function to swap map tiles. This function, called swap tile, takes an x and y coordinate. Then it finds out which tile sprite is at xy using mget. Then we use mset to change the tile sprite at xy to use the very next tile sprite, tile plus 1. And that's it. That function will swap a tile on the map with the next sprite. Now let's add a second function that says what to do when the player picks up a key. This function, called getKey, takes an xy coordinate. Then we add 1 to p.keys so that the player is now holding one more key. Since we've picked up the key, we need to swap the tiles at that xy coordinate, so we use our new swap tile function we just wrote. Once the tile is swapped, we play the sound effect 1 to indicate we picked up the key. Now that we have swap tile and get key functions in place, we need to add a function to our player movement code that checks where our player is trying to move and interacts with whatever is there. Switch over to code tab 2 and we'll add a function called interact to the end of that tab. This function takes an xy coordinate of what map coordinate we're trying to interact with. Then we check that map coordinate to see if the tile there is a key. If it is, we run our get key function. Lastly, we need to actually run our new interact function. So we move up the tab a bit, and right before we check to see if it's okay to move to new x and new y, we'll run interact on new x and new y, and interact with whatever's there. Okay, that should be it. Let's save the game with Control s and run it with Control r So there's our regular key, we should be able to walk right over it and hear the sound it makes when we do so. Yep, it works, and the key is gone, because we swapped the tile after we picked it up. Okay, now let's check the chest and see if that works. It works, we got a key, and it changed to an open chest. And you'll also notice, we can't walk through the chest, because it has the wall sprite flag turned on as well. You'll notice one problem though, we don't know how many keys we have. In the next step, we'll add a little overlay to let the player see how many keys they have. 